I am so guilty of using this term. What just happened here? Have you have you used those words? What what whoa? What just happened here? Trying to understand what the unexpected presence of something that you didn't really envision has just taken place right there in front of you. It reminds me of 9-11, 2001, the Twin Towers. I remember sitting there on the sofa, daily writing everything humanly possible because I didn't understand what was taking place. Although it was playing out in front of me, I didn't understand. The same is true about the COVID lockdown. You should see all of my daily writing because I didn't understand. What, what, what just happened here? I, I, I don't know. When people explode in front of you and you're going, okay, was that meant for me? Because what did I do for that to actually take place? Or am I just a witness and somebody from HR is going to come up and tap me on the shoulder saying, did you see that? Well, I did. And now inside your heart, you have to wonder, do I speak the truth here or how are we going to get through this mess? Yeah, it, it is a mess. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer, a silent wolf. I am the person who sits on the outside. Not that I'm not participating, because I am. I listen. I observe. I study. I walk through the storms. I listen to those as well. And then we can come back and say, uh, w- w- what, what gives? What, what, what just happened here? This is The Daily Mess. Do we walk into a day or wander into a new chapter? God, that's a big question. Do we walk into a day or wander into a new chapter? There are so many different challenges delivered, usually when we least expect it. Yet, we are to take it on in ways of leaning into the new lessons. But do we truly think like that? Oh, it's a block on my path. Success, it'll happen eventually, but right now, I'm going to wait. I know, we'll learn a new lesson today. See, we're always setting ourselves up. We're endlessly caught off guard, and without an owner's manual, we're expected to somehow wiggle our way through it. I dump a lot of my changes and challenges into my defrag journal. I go there to ask questions and question answers. And then I ask more questions and then question the answers. I go there to lay it out, to break it down and sift through a constantly growing mess. I do this because with people comes judgment and or observations that you may not agree with. That stunts our personal growth. It's not that I'm not listening to you. I'm just making sure that I don't lose my side of the story and or experience. Outsiders are observers. They aren't in the darkest moments. They only hear about those dark moments. But too often, we run to them. We go and we just plant everything bad on their day. Not realizing that, oh, God. I was a Debbie Downer to their moment. They, they could have been enjoying life. And all of a sudden, oh, because we're friends. Family takes care of family. But we dumped our day on them. We took them down. When in reality, what we could have done was stepped onto a journal or stepped into a defrag. A defrag is asking yourself the questions and questioning the answers. I understand that I've been married for 32 years with this beautiful woman. But I think one of the reasons why we have found such incredible peace is because we believe in each other's individuality and each other's ways of dealing with the questions and the answers that we're going to question. When I'm defragging right there in the same living room with my wife, she has no idea what's going on the page, but she has the opportunity if she wants to, when I'm gone or even when I'm there to just page through it. That right there would be one of the greatest blessings because then we would be on the same page. Back to the original question. Do we walk into a day or wander into a new chapter? I don't want to wander into anything because it brings up wonder. Because when we wonder, we assume. When we assume, we find ourselves in places of more questions with no answers. So every day is something that we walk into. But are we walking or are we being invited into that day? Now I ask you, what are you going to do with yourself today? Is it going to be worth the weight that you're planting on that forest floor? I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.